Well, since you're always interrupting, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Everybody knows I'm joking. Sister Francis, I just want to say, I don't know where we'll be if we didn't have you.
And now you stay with me. You stay with me. But I love you. I appreciate you. And I too remember when you started teaching the message of the cross. I do know without that teaching, I'd probably come through that last divorce I had terribly. And you start preaching, and I said, God, I want that if that's true. And I was skeptical. But I started getting it because of your teaching. And I'll tell you, that's a gift. That's a gift to give people. It's such a gift. It's, every, it's everything.
And she is just a jewel. She is a jewel that a lot of people don't have, a lot of churches don't have. And what she's doing here is truly a blessing for the academy, for the church. And we just are some blessed people here to have her, Pastor Allen. And I just thank God for you and I love you. Well, when I was trying to transition from being a decent Methodist to the Assembly of God member, we had the patience of Job. There's a lot of things I didn't understand, uh, a lot of things I had to have explained to me. And um, I don't know what to do again. Uh, I would drive out to her house, she'd put a cup of coffee on, and she would answer my questions. And I'm sure in her mind, some of them were not very bright questions, but she was very patient with me and she answered them. And she became a great teacher to me and a great friend that I love in both categories and respects. And then many years down the road later, she became my mother-in-law that I dearly love. I may be one of the few people that can say that, but I dearly love my mother-in-law. <laughs> So thankful for you and all that you do for us. Well, you wrote it down. Well, you know, I wrote it down because I made a sandwich today, y'all. I had thought it was going to say butter after later. I went to the refrigerator and I couldn't find it. It wasn't in there. Y'all know where I found it? Under the cabinet with the storage containers. <laughs> So, my word, because this is something I've been thinking about for a while, so this is not a word I just came up with because we were going to do this and everything. I've been thinking about this concerning you for a while now. And I think about, and it's the message of grace. It's just that message of grace. And to me, you are so approachable now. Just so approachable. I, Wait, I wrote it down. I wrote down a definition. It means you are friendly. You are easy to talk to. And that is really true, but you are just so approachable. Now, I can come to you and know that I'm going to be received. And if I say, do you have a minute? You always say, yeah, I'm knowing it's going to be more than a minute. So, But I just appreciate that. I appreciate, like everybody else has said, the message of grace that has just delivered me, brought me out, established me, and given me such a love for the Lord and for the people. You know, y'all said you're supposed to love the people. Well, I liked them very well, but I don't know that I really loved them a lot. And now when I, on Sunday mornings when I stand to teach, I think, man, I love these people. I love these people. That word was taught to us and I just thank you for it, and thank you for being approachable, friendly, and easy to talk to. You are one of my favorite pastors in the world. I got another one, but <laughs> you are one of the two. We love you. I love you, Sister Frances. We've been around quite a while. I praise God for bringing Marvin and I to this church. We came to this church about 41 years ago. And we're here to stay. God has not called us anywhere else. But I thank you, and I thought about it. I thank you for preaching the Word of God. And I, I thank you for the preaching about the cross. He is so, so faithful. And, you know, it's just God has given this church guilt. It's you and Pastor Allen. You, are def you definitely have a heart for the people. And that means so, so much to me. Just thank you, and I love you. Sister Francis, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm going to take from Sunday morning's Sunday school lesson. And I'm going to do my best not to burp down and cry. But the Sunday school lesson was grading your pastors. 
And I stood back there and I gave you a 10. I mean, even before the service started, I held up both hands and gave you a 10. But I was sitting back here, right where Sister Rose is sitting, and the Holy Spirit laid something on my heart, but I would not say anything. And I, and I later shared it with Sister Carolyn, and she said, you should have said something. So tonight I'm going to tell you what the Holy Spirit laid on my heart. And this is not only for you, but this is for Pastor Rose. A few years back, y'all had to break me. And that's what a good shepherd does. He leaves the flock of the 99 and he chases the one. And what a shepherd did back in the biblical days is he would break the leg and he'd put him on his shoulders and he would carry that, that sheep until he was mended. You were one of the ones that broke me. Pastor was the other one. But you didn't leave me laying down. Y'all picked me up, put me on your spiritual shoulders, and you carried me. Not only for just a day or a week, but years. Y'all are still doing so in so many ways. I want to say thank you, Sister Francis for being willing to do the hard things, breaking people. But then when you break them, you love them. You become Jesus with skin on. Thank you. Love you.
Sister, I don't know. Since I was a baby, I don't remember not going here. I've known you as my pastor. I've known you as my boss. And I've known you as my friend. But since mama passed, I've been to go get some spiritual love. And that's not a relationship I've ever been in the spirit. I love you so much. In the bottom of my heart.
with Sister Francis and Brother Allen for 45 years. So I was thinking about that today, as a matter of fact. Huh? Somebody told me today, hey, you're getting younger every time I see it. I received that. I received that. Oh. It's been a rocky road for me. I've had a lot of ups and downs and uh, lived for a while and came back. And, uh, uh, Sister Francis and I have a different type of relationship. He, she treats y'all with feathers. She handles y'all with feathers. She doesn't handle me with feathers. The Bible says the word of the Lord is a hammer. So, and I'm glad. Huh? Some people, you know, the black sheep, you know, she keeps trying to bleach me, but, you know, but I appreciate uh, Sister Francis. I appreciate, you know, the ministry of the word. Uh, her and I, uh, God was dealing with me about the message of grace uh, and, and brought it to me. She got it earlier than I did, but the Lord dealt with me about it, revealed it to me, and then I came to this church. And the greatest, I think the greatest gift you could give to Sister Francis would be a, power, be a powerful witness and to shine. And so when she stands before God and you're there with her, that not just the reward, but the joy of you being there and you being perfect in his sight. Because that's what she wants to do, is she wants to perfect you. That's what the Apostle Paul said. We teach, we preach Christ. That's what he said. Him we preach. You know, and he said that we may present every man perfect and mature. The word perfect there means mature. Mature in Christ. The, the greatest reward that I want to bring Brother Allen and Sister Francis is to be a mature Christian and to shine in these dark times. Happy birthday. Well, Sister Francis, I wish I had known you for 40-something years. <laughs> When I first met Sister Francis, I, um, I really got the wrong impression. Really. You, you have such an assertive personality that I, I said, well, I bet she wears pants in her mouth. <laughs> How wrong I was. You know, God put you in positions where you will learn things about people when you get that wrong impression. You'll learn better, and he sure did. I learned how wrong I was. Because let me tell you, Sister Francis is not just a model that we can all follow as a wife, but also as a pastor's wife. I've seen her handle some situations that, man, if I had handled that, it would have been bad. But the way God gave her to handle, God has given her such wisdom in handling situations that could be um, spiritually damaging to people that um, I, I don't know how she manages it. It's just God giving, God giving her words to say to people that brings them through a, position, a situation that they're in. Thank you so much, Sister Francis, for being an inspiration. Happy birthday. Well, by now, Carolyn, I just want to say this, okay? I'm so thankful you shared what you shared more about. Last Wednesday night, I came to church. I played the piano. I had two different shoes on. <laughs> and you know, nobody noticed. <laughs> well, yay. Tonight, they match. <laughs> but I got through it. Oh, my goodness. I had navy and blue on. You know, so I thank you for sharing that. <laughs> but anyway, you are by far one of the most respected, admired women I know from my heart to you because of who you are and whose you are. It's very evident. I've been around to hear a lot of teachers in my long life, but you're one of the best Bible teachers I have ever sat on. I want to say thank you for so many reasons. And Mike and I first came to hear you and Patrick just accepted us with open arms. I love that about you. You're so accepting. And the words that you just throw out sometimes, you don't realize how powerful they are. But I chew on them all week. I think about them and I think, wow. And it's so anointed. It's just a conversation that we might have. But it's so ordered by the Lord. 
And I just want to say thank you for being here. Um, I just want to say I thank God for Sister Allen, and um, she's just, you know, just a blessing. She's been a blessing in my life. I say I've been here what 13 years now, and I came from another church. Now I, I was kind of at a point where I was saying. I can make it without going to church. I'm, I'm just going to raise my kids. And, you know, I had to live through so many different things in the churches because I was like a teacher and all of that, too. And I came here one night, and I, she just talked with such simplicity till I was like, wow. I, and somehow I just knew, you know, I wanted my kids here because I was really worried about my children not wanting to be taught by God. And, you know, you know how the kids get, I don't want to go to church and all that. And I didn't want them with that attitude, you know, of saying, oh, we got to go to church, you know, and stuff like this. And when I came here, somehow I knew, you know, I just had met her. And I, you know, I just enjoyed her genuine character. You know, when, when you meet someone genuine, it's hard not to notice, you know, especially, when you're a genuine person also. And I saw that in her, and I was like, wow, you know? I was like, well, this may be where God wants me to stop right here. But I just, not to say all that, but I just wanted to say, you know, it is a privilege and honor, you know, to even, you know, honor you tonight for me. You know, I just thank God for you, because truly, you are a blessed woman, and I thank God, you know, for just, well, happy birthday. And we'll give you that rose. And we've been around uh, for a long time. And I told God, I can't get out there because I'll cry. And because we really, you know, love y'all. Both of you. And so glad to be here in this church with this church body. Amen. You couldn't ask for a better place. Yeah. And we do. We we just we do love coming, listening, and I've learned a lot from Sister Frances teaching. She was great uh, teacher. She was over all the teachers I taught a while, and she's great. I mean, she was uh, always, you know, she would listen to you if you had a problem, and I enjoyed that, and I enjoyed being around her, and I love you, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my husband had something to say. I want to say happy birthday. Thank we you. love you. I love you too. Thank you. Oh. Uh -oh. Just so I have things to do. Uh, I just want to thank you that you let God wear you as clothes. You let him fill you up and you just point everybody to the cross. And I remember when I was down and I said, I just need to talk to you real quick. You said, come on. And we went in your office, and I was down in the mother grubs. Thank you for teaching me, help me the words. <laughs> I didn't know what a mother grub was, but I was there. I was there, y'all. Stay in place, don't be there. Um, get out of the mother grubs. But um, you took time with me, and uh, we haven't been here, like Melissa says, we were babies. We only been here since the end of 2020, but we've enjoyed it, and you always Say something that sticks with us. Well, God says something to you that sticks with us. And we just love the presence of God here. We love the people. We love you. And happy birthday.
just a little bit, because if we all stood up here forever, we'd be here a while. We don't want to do that, because we have a reception for you. So there's cake, and there's all kinds of goodies back there that we want everyone to enjoy and stay, and we hijack the service. Yes, you do. So next week, you don't have to study. You just have to kind of refresh your memory on what you've already done. So good trip to Mommy Mom. We love you. Thank you. 